we've seen from their quarterback. I think Ray said the key is going to be probably defensive end contain and you know just making sure you can, I guess, handle both parts of his game. Yeah, you know he's a difference maker, dangerous guy, um, really athletic, really good quarterback. Uh, you know, major reason for their successes. You know. Um, he makes them go. He's a he's a dangerous guy. He keeps the ball alive. Uh, he can throw the football. He can run the football. Uh, you've got to prepare for his running game. You got to prepare for the option part of it. You got to prepare, prepare for scrambles. All those kind of things. So a dangerous guy. Does he? Re, I guess uh, DeAndre said that in some sense it's like a Big 12 quarterback, where a really poised guy and a guy that can run and throw. I would agree. You know, I think it's all that. I think he's a veteran guy, and, and nothing phases him. You know, he, he doesn't. They do a great job protecting him. Uh, not very many people get to him, and uh, you know, he eludes pressure, and uh, he can throw the ball down the field. What kind of growth did you see in DeAndre over the last year? Or so when he maybe got to spend a little bit more time at corner, where it was maybe more natural to him. Oh, well, you know, I think all those guys grow. I think DeAndre's done a great job of you know off the field. You know, when we talk about margins and winning in the dark. I just think he's done a great job off the field of prepping himself and, and getting himself ready to play and, and uh, studying the game, you know, and really becoming a student and, and trying to master his craft. Is that a matter of spending more time or just knowing what you're doing when you do study the film? And Both that? of those. You know, I think it's a really good point. I think knowing what you're doing, I think that comes about with some age for sure. And, uh, and then I think the willingness to realize that it does take a lot of time. You know, you, you don't have much free time if you're really a student of the game. You know, you, you just the game doesn't allow that. And I think until you're a little bit more mature and older and realize, hey, sand's running through the hourglass and I better get ready to go. And, you know, this is my senior year and I want to play well and want to lead. And then you go do all that stuff. You guys have had a couple of scrimmages, but how much, I guess, teaching expression would be in this first game for you on the fly with some of these safeties just as they go through it for the first time in, in well there you know there's a lot of young guys floating around out there still you know on our team and uh, there'll be some learning curve and you know we've got to try to do a great job of, of putting putting them in the right spots and, and, and doing things that we know how to do you know and um, that's more my concern you know is that we understand what we're doing what our jobs are and all that kind of thing. We're playing a really talented offense, a very difficult offense to defend. And uh, I've known Coach Stake for a long time and a lot of those guys and that staff when I had coached at Youngstown. And those guys do a tremendous job and, and uh, their kids will play really hard and they do. And uh, they're very well coached. What does Mike Rose do well that's allowed him to in terms of softness linebacker battle? What does he need to improve on if he gets those well, he's, called? Like, he's still one of those young guys that's still learning. You know, I think in fairness, but man, does he play hard and fast? And you know, he's really what we thought we saw in film, and who we met, and family that we met, and he's all of those things. And uh, it's been a great battle. It's still going on. I mean, it's those guys competing out there today, watching Bobby McMillan and and Ov and and uh, you know and Mike. I mean, it's it's uh, it's intense. It's fun to watch, and uh, they're young guys that all want opportunity. And um, you know, I just it's been fun to watch them practice and compete because they sure have done that. How big of a gulf is there between a good, solid FBS team to a really good FCS team like in a Sandy, you know, South Dakota State that you know is now becoming like a playoff fixture, a semifinals fixture? Well, it seems I, like it's getting closer. Well, yeah, I think FCS has changed a ton, even in the years that I was back at Youngstown, and, and you know, since then watching those teams play, you know, we watched their games and went through you know the season and. Uh, a lot of talent, a lot of, you know, and guys are transferring. There's a lot more of that going on. And, and so there's really, really talented folks. Um, you know, they had some guys drafted in, in early rounds, and, and you just see it. So I think the gap's closing. I don't think that's, and I don't think it's going to change. I think as long as guys are, you know, moving on from, you know, Division One to, to FCS, it's, it's really good football. And, uh, you know, that conference is a really tough conference as it is, you know. So those guys have done a good job. And, um, you know, I, I don't think there's a lot of difference, not near as much as there used to be. How much better are you guys in terms of, you know, culture solidifying versus being in place in year two? Year one, Coach Campbell's work, mm -hmm. figuring out how to arrange the locker. Right. Last year you probably feel better. This year probably another step up in terms of feeling better week one. Yeah, I don't know if I ever feel better. <laughs> better is not, I don't know if I'm there uh, in all my years, but uh, I just think our guys, 
I think our guys understand better if there's anything of what they're trying to do. And, you know, back to the point of, you know, how long it does take to study film and what am I really studying? And, and I think our, our team has done a good job of that. And, you know, you, you got to go play a game and you, you got to go put it all together and do all those things and, and lock out all the noise and all the, you know, distractions and you got to go play football. And um, that'll be the real test. Can we handle that? And can we go do that? And, and uh, but I, I've been really proud of our guys, just of their mindset and, 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 and work. You know, I, I don't think of days that we come out here and wasted a day of practice. And that's what I appreciate. If it's good enough, it'll be good enough. If it's not, it's not. But I, I think our guys have worked very hard at, at trying to, you know, be as good as we can be.